Hey y'all and welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. I am so glad you are here. Y'all, I'm just so glad. And you're here for the next installment of Church Ladies Recipes. You guys love those and so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing a Church Ladies Recipe. If you are one of my faithful followers, I am so glad that you're back. I just want you to know how much I love and appreciate you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad you're here. And if you would consider subscribing, I would greatly appreciate that. We are on a push to get to 50,000 so we can do our next giveaway and it's going to be a great one. So if you don't mind and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and give this video a thumbs up. So stay tuned. We're doing a church ladies recipe. Okay, so you guys seem to love the church ladies recipe. Today we're doing a dessert one. We've done a salad. What else have we done? I think we've done... Oh, we've done an entree, like the roast. We did Caroline's roast. We've done a salad. And so tonight we're doing a dessert. Now, this is going to be kind of about two ladies. One in the church that we're pastoring now, and one at our former church that we pastored. Let me start with this one. We were, well, let me just tell you her name. Her name is Lois Smith. Lois is a dear friend of ours, and her husband, they own a wonderful car lot here in Asheboro. In fact, before we ever went into the ministry, I had bought one of our first cars as a family, not my first car, but our first car as a family came from their, um, their um, car lot. And so we are, we've, I'm, we've just gotten to know them since we've been pastoring the church. And we were at the hospital one day with, I think, one of Lois's loved ones. I won't divulge any information because I haven't asked permission or anything. But we were at the hospital and we were in the waiting room. And she said, Leslie, do you have a recipe for a banana split cake? I said, no, not really, but I'll look for one. And so I just basically looked through several on the internet, found the one that I thought sounded the best, and I wrote it down and sent it to her. Well, just so happened the other day when I had our former church's cookbook out, guess what's in there? A banana split cake. The lady from our former church, who this is her recipe, her name is Carol Wood. Carol is a hoot. She is so funny. Um, I used to go over to her house and we would sew and we would cook, and we would snap beans, and did all kinds of things, and um, in fact, I bought our church, well, the church bought it, but I ordered it, um, banners, the big banners that hang on the wall in the church, and she and I and another lady, Eva Whitman, the three of us made those banners. It was a kit. It just came with the material and the appliques and everything, and you had to put it together, so Carol and Eva and I made those banners. And to my knowledge, they're still hanging in the church to this day. But um, Carol is a magnificent cook, and she has several recipes in this recipe book. So I'll probably be sharing more of hers. But today, we're using her banana split cake, and it looks amazing. So I'm going to get all the ingredients out, and I'll meet you back right here. I won't be taking this to Lois because I want to try it, and I don't want to take her one with a piece missing. So, um, once I realize it, you know, once it's good and everything, I'll make her another one. In fact, I should have bought more bananas and just made two from the get-go. But, anyway, I'll make her one tomorrow. Okay, y'all, so the first thing we're going to do is make the crust. But first, I wanted to tell you what I did with these bananas. I bought these bananas last night, and last night they were solid green, and I needed them to ripen in a hurry because I'd planned this video for today, and I needed them to ripen in a hurry. So let me tell you how I did it. I got a paper bag, a grocery paper bag, not plastic paper. I put them in the paper bag with a lemon and an apple, and I rolled it up really tight so it wouldn't open. 
turned it on its top so the, there was no way for the bag to open. And when I got these out, look what I have. I'm telling you, these were green. So, if you ever need to know how to ripen up a banana, that's how. So, let me move my pan over. Okay, so in this bowl here, I've got two cups of graham cracker crumbs. Now, you can use actual graham crackers and crush them in the food processor, but I just did it the easy way and bought the box of the crumbs. So, either way is fine, whichever you prefer. And in here, I've got about five to six tablespoons of melted butter. And I'm just going to pour that in there. And I'm going to mix this up really good. And it's going to kind of become a, um, a damp sand, sort of. And when I get it good with my fork, I'm going to take my impeccably clean hands and be sure everything is good and mixed together. So now I'm going to take, you know I love my tin pans, but a 9 by 13 is fine, whatever you have. And I'm just going to wipe this bowl out because we're going to use it for something else in just a second. But I want to get this evenly distributed. And then once I get it evenly distributed, I want to press down and make a crust. You know, like scripture says, press down and shaken together. Well, we are pressing down. All right. So now we have our bottom crust and it is ready. Okay, let me wash my hands and I'll bring you back for the second step. Okay, y'all, in the bowl that I just took a paper towel and wiped it out, I've got two cups of powdered sugar. To that powdered sugar, I'm going to add one stick which is half a cup of very, very softened <laughs> butter. I don't think I intended for it to get quite that soft, but it's okay. It doesn't hurt anything. It's just I didn't mean for it to get that soft. And to this, I'm going to add a good splash of vanilla. Now I'm going to come over here and mix it with my hand mixer. And I'm going to mix it for quite a bit because I want it to get good and fluffy. So I'll bring you back once I'm finished um, mixing it. And then we'll be adding two eggs to it and mixing some more. So I'll bring you right back. Okay, guys, here it is. And we're going to add our eggs. And I'm going to beat after each one. There's only two going in. So I'm going to put this one in, beat for a little bit and then come back and add the second. Okay guys, so here it is. Now let me just preface the egg situation. This will not be cooked. So if you have an aversion or a fear of the eggs, just add some heavy cream or some milk or something just to kind of give it that fluff and that extra. Um, it won't give it everything that the egg does, but um, I don't have a fear of the eggs. I make sure my eggs are good anyway so I don't have that fear so anyway so now what we're gonna do y'all forgive my hair my son just purchased a 1988 Mustang convertible and I got to drive it and so I got convertible hair all right so we're gonna just smear this on the crust I need an offset spatula. And I can't find it. Okay. 
Y'all, this is going to be so good. It's going to make me want to go. We've got this place in Pittsburgh, and there's one in Lexington near us that has the best banana split. So this cake's going to make me want to go get a banana split. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, and if you have an offset spatula, it works better. If not, just do the best you can. It's okay because it's all going to get mixed up anyway. <laughs> That's what my mom and daddy used to tell me. It's, I, I used not to like my food. To, you know, I, it was kind of funny. And they'd say, it's okay. It's all going to get mixed up anyway. Okay, so now you have to decide how you want to do the bananas. And believe it or not, this is the hardest part for me to decide. I am. The recipe says to cut them in half lengthwise. And I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to cut them in rings like you would for a um, banana pudding. But changed my mind again. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them in half this way and then in half this way and hopefully we'll, it'll cover the, hopefully it'll cover the, I got four bananas so we'll see if it's going to take all four or if I should have gotten more. These were pretty small. Sometimes you can get ginormous bananas, but these were, well, I guess these are more medium. It might would have worked better if I'd have done the rings, but that's okay. You just want a good banana in every bite. And I'm going to use this fourth one. Just because I like bananas. Okay, all right, I'm going to leave this other half to munch on and for you to bug, or me, one or the other. Okay, so now on top of the bananas, I have a can of crushed pineapple that I have drained. And y'all, I'm just going to use my hands, and we're going to cover... This banana. And like I said, if y'all are funny about those eggs, then you can use, you know, I put a little milk in it or something, but I think you'll miss the egg if you don't do it. But it can be successful without the egg, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. All right. Let me get this stuff cleaned up and out of my way, and I'll move you on to the next step. Okay, y'all. So on top of this, we're going in with some Cool Whip. We're just going to ice the top with Cool Whip. And I may need my offset spatula again. I'm hoping one will be enough. All right. Let me wipe my spatula off. We're gonna use that. Y'all, if you do not have an offset spatula, you need to get one. I'll try to go think to go link one in my Amazon storefront store. Um, they just come in so handy. Just 
come in so handy. We were going to have a cookout tonight and do burgers and um, this would be a great dessert for a cookout. This is a great thing to take to a potluck at church. This is church lady recipes right here. Okay. All right. Let me clean up. I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, guys, we're almost at the end. We're almost finished. Now, of course, this is optional if you like nuts or not, but I'm just going to sprinkle the top with um, some pecans. They would be really good if they were toasted. Um, I did not take the time to toast them, but they would be really good. But I like pecans toasted or not. It doesn't matter to me. And if you follow me on social media, <laughs> you saw my faux pas yesterday. Let me tell you, always check taste the nuts you're fixing to use always check to make sure they have not gone rancid even if you keep them in the freezer still check them um i made a, a big huge batch of granola yesterday and guess who didn't do what she is telling y'all to do and i've grabbed the wrong bag of i had bought a new bag and just didn't throw away the old bag of almonds and I grabbed the wrong one and it had gone rancid but I think the flavors in the granola um, kind of covered it up so thank goodness it wasn't a total loss okay so now isn't that beautiful now I'm just gonna decorate it a little bit and I'm going to put one thing that the recipe does not call for. Um, and we'll get that out in just a second, if I have any. But I don't think you can have a banana split cake or banana split in general without this little thing I'm going to show you to put on here. I have a feeling it was just accidentally left out, but we'll see. All right, y'all. I'm so excited. Now, this has got to chill. You can't eat this right away. This has got to go in the refrigerator. Isaac smoked some chicken yesterday, so my refrigerator smells really good of <laughs> smoke. So, I may take this over to the chicken house and put it in that freeze refrigerator. Let me grab the special thing I'm going to tell you to add. Right? Right? Yes! You gotta have this. And we're going to make it pretty. Now, it may not be pretty when I come time to eat it, but anyway. There we go. All right, I'm going to cover it really tightly with some um, tin foil, and we're going to stick it in the refrigerator. And it's going to chill for a while, and we'll come back tonight and give it a taste for you guys. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us for the taste test. Look the time has come. How beautiful that turned out right there, okay? So we're going to give it a try and give it a whirl. We're going to have to test with our serving spoon. We're going to test with the serving spoon. I forgot we're, a spoon. She's trying a little different on the camera setup, so uh, let us know if you like this a little better. We're trying to uh, get a little more, a little different view. So take a glance at that right there. You can see the banana. Oh, oh no. Did you see that? There you go. You can see. Oh, <laughs> nice. Don't y'all just love bloopers? You can see the layers. You can see the graham cracker crumb. You can see the, the icing sort of layer, the bananas, the pineapple, and the whipped cream, and, of course, the cherry and nuts and chocolate. So, right. it's a beautiful dessert. Here is the moment of truth. You want first bite? No, you go ahead. You go ahead. Uh -huh. 
Mm. Is that good? Oh. My goodness, that's good. Very light. Yes, it's it's airy. Very flavorful. But you it get, tastes like a banana split. You get some sweet, you get some salty. What's salty? I guess the graham crackers. Yeah. I didn't get any salty. She's right. It tastes like a banana split. What's it called? A banana split cake. <coughs> it's really good. <laughs> oh. Mmm. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's a winner. All right. Now, this one is probably not going to make it to Lois. But I bought bananas at the store today. We just got back. So I'll be making Lois. Oh, I forgot the whipped cream. I'll be making Lois one of these and taking it to her because she asked me about it. You guys have got to try it. If you like I couldn't take this to Lois now because he's dipping out the like spoon he's eating with. <laughs> Good like thing it's just for our family. Sorry. A banana split. <laughs> it's really good. I'm trying to talk. I'm sorry. I was just watching you dip out of the spoon you're eating. It's that good. You know it's yeah. that good when you go in with the same spoon and you just... Yep. It's really good. It's that good. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us here on The Farming Pastor's Wife. Hey, if you've got some ideas and some recipes you would like Leslie to try, drop them down in the description with all the details. Not <laughs> saying that she'll get to make those, but she's looking for some stuff for some future content and stuff like that. I, I do, because I film a lot of what we cook, I, I do repeats. <laughs> and so I don't want to have like 10 of the same thing. So... We're looking for new things. New ideas. And this um, church recipe, church ladies recipe right here, banana split cake. Share this on your Facebook page. It is phenomenal. Thank you, Lois, for having me go look for a recipe. I don't even know if you remember that or not. But um, And then thank you, Carol Wood, for putting your recipe in our church cookbook. And um, it is delicious. And the chocolate just makes it. Don't forget the chocolate. All right. Thank you guys for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.